Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to inspect the heater of the auto sensor just in case if you have any fault code for a heater circuit on this sensor. Uh, Alright, uh, let's just start having a look at the wiring diagram first and then we do the troubleshooting on the car. So this is the wiring diagram for oxygen sensor and this code is for oxygen sensor bank 1 sensor 1. It means the sensor before CAT. So on the sensor itself, we have four pins, two pins for the heater, two pins for the sensor element. So we don't need to focus on this section of the sensor itself right now because code is just referring to the heater. Uh, as you see, heater receives a battery supply from the main relay. And this is the control line between the sensor and PCM, which is powertrain control module or engine control module. So what happens right now for inspecting the heater itself and heater circuit, the first thing is to check the battery voltage right here because when ignition switch is on and of, of course and of course when engine is running, you should have the battery voltage right here. And uh, if battery voltage is not provided, you need to chase this wiring back to check it for any uh, short to ground or open circuit. For heater itself, we can check the internal resistance using a multimeter. I will show you how to check it. If the value is too high or too low, it means that the sensor itself must be replaced. And the last step is going to be uh, checking the control line to make sure there is nothing wrong with this control line and ECM can uh, control the heater without any problem. So three steps to check the fault code. Let's start to do everything on the car. So first step is to check the voltage supply on the heater. Uh, simply use the multimeter to check the voltage on the heater. You must get battery voltage. Let's see how we can do that. All right, first of all, locate the oxygen sensor, which is right here in my case. And you need to chase the wiring to find the connector of oxygen sensor. In my case, the connector is located just right here. Disconnect the connector. So as you see on this uh, auto sensor, I have four pins. Uh, two pins out of uh, four pins, as I explained earlier, they belong to the sensor element, and two pins are for the heater. So right now, this fault code is for the heater, so I need to focus on the heater to inspect it. For inspecting the power supply uh, on the heater, I need to inspect it on this side of the connector. So grab your multimeter. Put it on the voltage, on DC voltage, put the black one on the ground. And right now on the connector, you need to check the power supply on the proper pin, as I showed you earlier. So as you see, my ignition switch is on, and I'm checking the voltage supply on the heater, and I'm getting 12.2, which is okay, which is the battery uh, voltage in this case. Then we go for checking the internal resistance of the heater. Just use the multimeter to check the resistance across two pins of the heater and compare it with the specification for that car. And now for inspecting the internal resistance of the heater itself. Uh, first of all, find which pins are for the heater. In this case, I'm gonna back pro from the back to just show you how it works. Okay, so adjust the multimeter on resistance and now check the resistance between these two pins that you have selected and wait for your measurement. So in this case is uh, 9.54 ohms which shows my heater is okay. So if you are measuring really high value or low value it means the heater is uh, faulty and you have to replace the sensor. And the last one is to check the heater control circuit using a multimeter. Just disconnect the connector and check the resistance between the control line pin and the body ground. And the next step is to check the heater control line to make sure it's not shorted to ground. So in this case, I have two props. I put one of them on a good ground. I adjust this one on resistance and on this side of the wiring, uh, you remember I had two pins for, for the heater, 
one was for the voltage supply that we already measured and the other one is the control line for uh, for the heater so I checked the other one as you see I should get nothing there should there shouldn't be any continuity between uh, the control line and the body ground if you are getting any continuity or any value it means your heater control line is already shorted uh, to the ground.